Hey, and um, welcome back again. This is another um, quick video just sort of going along with the 30 days of gratitude. And one of the things that I'm really grateful for that I wanted to share that I think that so many of the moms who follow me, um, and dads too for that matter, can totally relate to is um, things to do with our children. So of course we're all grateful for our children. However, we are sometimes not so grateful for those ungrateful moments. Um, I've talked to a lot of parents lately about just the random things, especially with the holidays coming up. You know, we talk about um, Christmas and, you know, you we get our kids all of these things and so many parents talk about these large piles of gifts and um, how ungrateful their children seem to be sometimes. Um, or when we take them to someplace special, like somebody told me recently they took their kids to Disney World and they spent all this money and they were so excited about it and the kids were so ungrateful because they got there and there was a lot of crying and complaining and whining and I'm tired and this and that. Um, you know, and as simple as people taking their kids to Target to go look in the toy section or even just having to take your kids because it's part of what you do. Like myself, I'm, I stay home with my children. So going to the grocery store is, it's it's a family affair, you know. So all the kids are usually with me if they're not in school. Um, and I have a preschooler, so she's with me a lot. And, um, you know, you go through those ungrateful moments where you're out, you know, and you're buying groceries and you're buying the things you need for your family. And maybe you're letting them stroll through the toy department and you have those very ungrateful moments where it's like, I want this, and I want that, and I want this. And, you know, you're kind of embarrassed because your kid's yelling in the store and um, you don't really know what to do. So you sometimes just cave. And I've been there, you know, and that doesn't create anything better. Um, in those moments, whether it's Disney World, whether it's the grocery store, whether it's somebody's house, a party, the doctor's office, whatever it may be, we find that those ungrateful moments tend to make us um, feel very angry and cause us to sometimes give in, which then causes us to spend money we didn't need to spend to allow our children to feel like they've manipulated the situation. And gosh knows, I'm so guilty of this myself on such a regular basis, but I've been listening to... Um, Danny Johnson recently, and one of the things that she talks about is, um, you know, preparing our children for success and for their futures. And I've been kind of doing some of the things she suggested, and one of the things she suggested, which has worked very well in my marriage and in my family and in my business, I'm also doing with my children, and that is creating expectations. So expectations of what can they expect, communicating with our kids at any level, at any age, on their level, of what to expect in a new situation. So if we're going to the grocery store, the expectation is, you know, I'm, I'm going to take you to the grocery store today and mommy needs to get some things for our house so that we can make some really yummy dinners together and we can maybe bake something for the school party together or whatever the reasons are that you need to go to the grocery store and things you need to get. And I'm really excited for you to be able to help me at the grocery store pick out some things. But we are not going to be buying candy, cake, cookies, things like that. If we're going to go to Target, then the expectation needs to be set. If we're not going to go and buy any toys, but we are going to let them look at toys, then we need to let them know we are going to go to Target today, and yes, we are. I'm going to let you off of the toy aisle, but today we're just going to make a list for Santa, and we are not going to be buying anything. And um, you know, it's it's not a perfect it's not a perfect solution. It doesn't always work the best, but it definitely works better than walking in and not preparing your children for what to expect and just being caught off guard in the moment being in a situation where you feel embarrassed and you feel like you have to give in because we don't have to give in. Um, you know, we, we don't want our children to feel like they just cry and we say yes. We want to meet their needs and we want them to be happy, but we don't have to buy everything that they ask us to buy to be able to make them happy. And we don't have to give in and let them do whatever they want to do just to make them happy. But we do need to treat them like human beings and communicate with them. So I have found this extremely helpful. It's definitely helping with my four-year-old who is very manipulative and very demanding and very attached to me and tends to know how to get away in most situations. So I'm really working on this. And so um, I thought it was useful information to share. It has a lot to do with being fit and fitting your family, fitting your things into your life that make things easier and run smoother for you. And um, I know it has for me and I hope it helps you. Have a great day.